guys, just wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about the Earth Star Chakra. So I was going to do my meditation today on the Root Chakra because I feel like I need some Root Chakra work and I thought that'd be fun to do a meditation on it. But my guides told me to start with the Earth Star Chakra, that I need to begin there. And that's where the healing happens. So I did my meditation on that and this is what came up. Uh, the first thing that came up was the color of the chakra. So they showed me a black color with sort of an indigo, hint of in indigo coming out from behind it. Uh, the next thing they showed me was the roots of a tree. And so they sh I saw the roots coming down into the ground and then um, they said, be rooted were their words. And I was shown crystals and minerals and nutrients, the earth and um, and then I was told, know where you come from. And so the roots kind of represented the past or um, our ancestry or where we come from or even like past lives. And so uh, they also mentioned that this earth star chakra helps to heal uh, lessons from the past. And again, we we're talking not just of our um, bloodline, but also where we come from our past lives. So, um, you know, we have all these different past lives that have happened. And when we explore the earth star chakra, we can go back into the beginning of time, the beginning of creation of where, uh, we come from and drop into those different, uh, lives that have, uh, created patterns and sort of, um, disruptions in energy and help heal those so that we can heal the present. Uh, they also showed me a wolf and wolf energy is very much connected with our survival instincts and uh, so that very much connects with these lower chakras. Again they mentioned deep healing and to me that that is relating back to the fact that this earth star chakra can go back, almost like go back in time. Uh, they also mentioned that this very much relates to where life begins. And they showed me an umbilical cord. And um, so there's the baby and the umbilical cord and the placenta. And uh, what they were showing me was that this is very representative of what the earth star is. And so when you have this baby, which is like the vessel of life, and you have the umbilical cord, which is where the nutrients are traveling from, from the placenta, um, that this is very much like the earth star chakra and our human body. And so the earth star chakra is giving us our nutrients, our life, our um, energy, and, um, and it's very much, you know, where we begin manifestation. And so we draw upon that energy. And even though we are not connected physically, we are connected energetically. Uh, the next thing they showed me was Pocahontas. And I am shown a lot of cartoons uh, when they're showing me symbolism. And I do believe that they just were wanting that sort of Native American Indian energy to come through that, um, you know, Indian princess. Uh, they, they showed me also E.T. and um, E.T. was holding a planet Earth and it felt very much like they were showing me that um, star seeds come in and help heal and care for the Earth. Uh, they also said it's the foundation, the Earth star chakra is the foundation. And when it's in balance, it brings all the other chakras into balance. And they literally showed me a, um, it was like a plate and it almost felt like, like a galaxy on the plate, like that spinning. And um, the person was floating above the uh, plate, their feet above the plate. And actually, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the earth star chakra is below the feet, it is not connected with the body. And, um, so they're showing me this and um, they showed me all the other chakras are in balance when you uh, bring that earth star chakra into um, activation and balance. 
when I asked which crystals um, can be used to help um, balance or activate this chakra, I was shown black obsidian and ammonite. And, you know, black obsidian is a protection stone, it's also very grounding. But ammonite is actually a very transformative stone and helps with kundalini rising and that bringing energy up through the, um, the chakra system. And it also helps with manifestation. Uh, next, they showed me a sphinx. And so the sphinx, um, it was an Egyptian, the Egyptian sphinx. And what was really cool is they showed me like these pathways that were um, underneath the Sphinx and that they were um, used by the Egyptians to, um, it was something about life after death and using the Earth Star Chakra in some way to help with that. Uh, the next thing they showed me was a ram and I had to look this up because I knew there was a connection with the Egyptians with this, it was a huge ram head with a big, um, you know, uh, antlers or whatever they, the rams have. And so I had to look this up and it was Amun, A-M-U-N, this uh, Egyptian god. And I had to look it up, but the Egyptian god, it relates to creation and to fertility, which very much goes back to our, um, you know, the, the baby and the umbilical cord and the placenta. And so there's definitely a relationship there with those two uh, symbols that they're showing us. They also uh, showed me the seed of creation and that um, this earth star chakra is where the seed of creation is basically planted or created or manifested. Uh, when I asked, how do you heal this chakra? And um, they showed me the Merkaba. And uh, the Merkaba is sacred geometry. It is, uh, when it comes through in my, um, in my energy work when there's a chakra that needs healing and the Merkaba actually dissolves old energies and old energy patterns. And so this again, very much related in, um, in the way that they had already shown me that this earth star chakra helps to heal the past and these, um, you know, these energy patterns that are disruptive or that, um, you know, are no longer needed. They also showed me um, that it is like the creation of life, this beginning, the seed. And so they literally showed me um, that sort of butterfly effect. When you have like a drop of water that goes into the water and it creates that ripple that goes on forever. Uh, this is the beginning of that. And so the Earth Star Chakra is the, um, that seed that helps create everything. They also showed me Merlin and Metatron that work with this Earth Star Chakra, which makes sense because uh, Merlin very much is connected with the Earth and um, Metatron as well, and they both work with the Merkaba. And when I asked who else works with the Earth Star Chakra, uh, they mentioned Archangel Sandalphon. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I, I had never, really maybe i've heard of it but i didn't you know i had to look this archangel up I'm not so familiar with it and uh, what was really cool is they said or when i looked up sandalphon i hope i'm saying that right um they said this archangel helps to care for the earth and this archangel very much uh works with archangel metatron too and they were also both um, the only angels, archangels, that were previously human beings that were um, uh, that were transformed into angels. Um, when I looked it up, they also said, um, or I, I, w I read that Sandalphon's God-given duties were to inspire humanity to take good care of the earth. So again, this very much relates to uh, what we've been talking about and is very much in alignment with what we've been talking about. The last thing they showed me was a teepee, like a Native American teepee. And they said that uh, Native Americans are very closely tied into or relate to this chakra because of their close relationship with the earth and nature and how they honored it. 
So uh, that was what I got for the Earth Star Chakra. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please comment below. This was a lot of fun and I'm going to be doing um, all the chakras in meditations. And so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we'll be doing the root next. Uh, so thanks for listening.